So I got a request for a little bit of help using ProPresenter as a tool to get your song lyrics and slides and those kinds of things into OBS. And there's a few ways you can do that, uh, but I want to show you what I'm doing and uh, what was particularly asked of me. It should be a pretty quick video. Uh, it's not too hard. But what you want to do if, you've, if you're using ProPresenter, if you're not, and you're looking for something, it's a, a great piece of software. I highly recommend it. Uh, but you can, you can use other softwares, and there's ways to get those into uh, OBS for your stream. Uh, but the way that I think is probably the best way to go is what I'm going to show you here. Uh, or, <laughs> let's start that over. That sucked. Um, Hey guys, I want to give you a quick tutorial on how to use uh, software like ProPresenter to get your song lyrics, slides, things like that into your video stream. So the way that you're going to do that is uh, a, a few steps. You've set up your, your songs, your slides, everything you need in OBS. So now I need to manage my outputs in ProPresenter. That's the software I'm working in. Uh, so let's go and configure screens. Okay, so my audience screen. I need to add an audience screen. I've already done this, but what, what I want to do is I want to add, I want to add an NDI output. So I'll select that. I'm actually not going to click this one because I've already done it, uh, but it's going to give me the name of it. This desktop something NDI one. That's what it automatically named it. Well, then I'm going to go over into OBS and I'm going to add a source. Now, you do have to install the NDI plugin into OBS. I'll put a link to that down in the description. But download the, download the plugin, install it, relaunch OBS, and it, you'll be ready to go. You'll see the controls that I'm looking for. But what I want to do, I want to go down here, I want to add, and I want to add an NDI source. Click on that click OK. I would probably name that ProPresenter. And then this drop-down menu right here is super very important. So there's a couple of things that I've got going on here. Uh, NDI, if you're not familiar with it, it's a network protocol that you can send uh, video information over your network. Uh, so it, you can send things from one computer to another. So uh, I actually had uh, an extra video capture card that I couldn't couldn't connect to the computer that I'm using for my stream because uh, it's a Thunderbolt card and this computer doesn't have Thunderbolt but I was able to plug it into a, an old Mac Mini and plug a camera into that and then use NDI to send that over into uh, to send that over into my mainstream computer so I can have a multi-camera setup I don't have to buy anything for that so that's pretty handy um, but, so I've got my NDI source, did I select, where did it, there it is. Uh, so you select what source you need, so uh, that's why you see a few options here. I've done a few different things, but the one that I'm looking for is this one. Remember, that's what it was named, so I'll select that and let's check some of these little things through here, make sure everything looks right. Uh, sync via the network or sync internal. I like to change this, especially for video. Uh, it helps with some sync and lag issues, uh, audio, a, audio and video sync, um, if you're using NDI for, for network or, or for video. So click OK, and there's my NDI source. Now, you'll see obviously that's cutting a lot of things off, so I want to shrink that down. I don't want it that big, but, and I can move it around, but I also, on this one, the way I set up my stuff in ProPresenter, I'm kind of going for a lower thirds look. Now, uh, ProPresenter says that in ProPresenter 7, there's complete feature parity between uh, the Windows software and the Mac software, and that's not entirely true. Because on Mac, what you can do is in your screen section here, instead of selecting an NDI 
output, you can select, there's another option here. So you've got your system displays, your NDI displays, or placeholders. Well, if you're running on Mac, there's a uh, siphon. Uh, and so you can select a siphon output. And then in OBS, you can select a siphon input. And that enables you to send your, your uh, slides with transparency. So only the text or only the graphic that you have up. And that, I really wish I could do that, uh, but the Mac Mini that I've got sitting here isn't, doesn't, doesn't seem to have the, uh, the horsepower to, to send my video signal into my main computer oh, uh, and uh, to send the video into my main computer and run ProPresenter. It was real laggy when I tried that. So uh, if you're running a Mac, I would say do it that way. Instead of selecting NDI, select Siphon. And then over here in, uh, in OBS, man, I'm struggling with the names of these programs. Uh, instead of selecting NDI source, select Siphon source. And then when, when that comes up, you know, this window, uh, or rather this window, there's some options that you click on, I believe it's right in here, uh, and you click a checkbox that said allow transparency. And uh, that's a, uh, a great way to go. Uh, but I wanna, I wanna crop this image. I don't wanna see that black bar. That's the point I was getting at. So let's go right click, transform, edit transform. And this is, this is one of the quirky things with OBS that I've encountered up to this point. I used to be able to, just like I would in, in, in most any other software, crop that way. I could, I could select one of these things and, you know, probably not like the corners would resize, but these would allow me to crop. That used to, I, be able, I used to be able to do that. Uh, and that's changed. So now the only way I've found to be able to do it, and I haven't looked a whole lot because I really only had to do it like twice, is to, to do this. Either uh, just hold down an arrow key until it gets where you want it to be, or guess with some numbers and just type them in. Get it close, and then, oops. Uh, Transform, where's transform? Where'd you go? Where'd it go? What is happening here? Am I, there it is. I was just not seeing it. Edit transform. Uh, and we'll keep cranking up on that. Anyway, uh, you can do that. And then again, once you got that all the way, move it around, resize it, get it where you want it. And you're good to go. Uh, so that's how you can get slides from ProPresenter into OBS. Uh, I think it's really helpful. It, there's a lot you can do with NDI. NDI is super cool. Uh, I was really excited when I found out about it and came up with some of the things that I could do with it. Especially, I was real, I was real excited about getting myself a second camera because uh, I was I was bummed that I had this capture card laying around that I couldn't do anything with, and then did some research and found NDI and. I got that set up, and it was super cool. So that's how to do that. Uh, let me know if you have questions. I'll see what I can do to help you guys out. Thanks for watching.